What is up you guys, you're watching Sergio's Secret. Before I get started with today's video, I'll leave the links for all the handbags down below if they're available. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started with today's video because we it's probably gonna be a long one. I'm probably gonna be talking way too much. And so, you know, girlies, we I mean, we might as well just start. So, obviously, it is very naked behind my walls. And today, I'm gonna be doing an updated handbag collection. I think the last one that I did was about five months ago, but I always get requested to do an updated handbag collection because my collection fluctuates so much. Some stuff I sell, sometimes I get rid of it, sometimes I give it away, sometimes I add a bunch of bags. So now I think in my collection I have 46 handbags in the contemporary and the designer space. I will not include makeup bags, I will not include wallets, I won't include anything that is more considered towards the SOG side but I will include all handbags that I currently have uh, and part of my collection and I'm gonna be doing it by alphabetical order by the brand and so let's go ahead and get started and oh my god now I have everything kind of set up by the brand and kind of alphabetical order or just by like the the letter and so I'm seeing everything and I'm like dang Sergio these are actually tienen muchas muchas bolsas and this is this isn't even like half of the bags that I want in my collection like, I like that but there's even more bags that I'm craving to have in my collection but looking and seeing everything, I'm super grateful for everything that I have. And let's go ahead and get started. The first bag that I have is this All Saints crossbody camera bag. This one retails for $198. What I like about it is that it's just the simple, most classic black crossbody that literally money can buy you. Like it is literally semi simple. It just has All Saints right here. You turn it into the bag. You have a little silver zipper here. You open it up. It's a very generous kind of open pocket. The zipper is nice and smooth the inside is nice and smooth as well um, I like that the, it has this little hardware right here the strap is adjustable you can open it up you have a little gay pocket in here and it's just literally the most classic simple crossbody your phone fits in here you can fit basically your entire world in this little all saints crossbody and I really like it I enjoy it and this is kind of like a, I, there's like certain core handbags that I would just never get rid of classic all saints crossbody bag you can never go wrong with so I have this one it is just a core handbag that you could have in your collection and I'll just start kind of filling up the walls as I get the handbags and show you the handbags I have two Bottega Veneta handbags this one's actually quite dirty as you can see going to Elantro going to the club um, you know it goes through the gigs a little bit but it's something that I can clean um, it definitely looks a little bit more brighter on camera which I wish it actually reflected in person um, the color that I have is in nail polish I just love how Squishy it is. I love that this goes with my Alexander McQueen sneakers. I just love the snap it. Like I, I just like look at it. It's still <sighs> this beautiful leather. It smells incredibly well. I just love it for this color nail polish. The strap on it, since it is um, really long, I did kind of like little knots in them. And so for me, I find that I like the length that it drops in. And yeah, I love this little Bottega Veneta bag. Like I said, I wish it was as bright. Uh, in person as it shows on the camera and the camera it just captures the color really pretty It's that but it's still see 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 my but this is my Bottega pouch bag in the small size And this one is in the nail polish color and I love her so much And this is gonna be even like a cute little 4th of July moment. Ooh, I'm already thinking about 4th of July I'm already thinking about summer. There's so many fun and things planned out And so this one is gonna be taking me to a lot of those places so I'm gonna leave my little nail polish right there. I have my Bottega Veneta Jody. I got this one for Christmas. Uh, I love it so much. Mine is in the older version where in the newer Jody's uh, minis, it has kind of like the triangle on it. This one does not. It is in the silver hardware. I love the knot on them. This bag has been through the gigs even though I just had it. December, I love the zipper. I love everything about it. It fits my entire life and this is such a good going out bag, such a good, you know, just any and everything. I can take this to brunch. I can take this to dinner. I can take this uh, out and about at night. Like this has transitioned me to so many different outfits and so many different places. And I love the size. I know some people say that this bag is not practical. Some people don't really like it. I love the practicality. I love the weaving on it. I went to go in a mini last year and I wanted to buy kind of like a classic black bag. And I'm so glad that I got the black Jody. I have considered getting this one in mas colores. Like los colores esta bien preciosa that Bottega Veneta does. And so I love it and I wouldn't really trade it in for the world. Um, I, I love this bag and I'm loving every moment with it. And it's such a, also a good and packable handbag to travel with. It goes really well with the suitcase. It's very nice. It goes with absolutely everything. So Bottega Veneta Jody 
Jody mini uh, black is definitely for the win and I and I recommend it I think it's worth every single penny and this is a bag that I did pay full price for as long as you a lot of you guys get good deals on stuff and some stuff I don't I don't mind paying full price this Jody I did pay full price for and I for me to pay full price for something says a lot so this one was 100% worth it for me so I'm gonna leave her right here the next bag that I have is this little Balenciaga little like shopper bag in the mini one i got this one i did show this one in probably one of my last hauls um at nordstrom rack and i bought this one for 300 dollars from a thousand i just love the color on them i've been a little bit more into the gay little color fantasy moment me gusta mucho the lilac the pink the green and the yellow and i just love how it just shows the pretty beautiful colors i just i just love it so much and um this is going to be maybe not a forever handbag in my collection i can see this one maybe being more of a seasonal but i, I i'm enjoying my time with it and look at this little cute little Balenciaga moment. I mean, I'm 100% here for it. It's absolutely preciosa and, and I love it. So a Balenciaga bag fits perfectly. If it's my phone in here, if it's a card case and my keys and a lip balm and I'm out the door. So here is the Balenciaga little shopper bag. Love every single moment with her and she's definitely going to be a buy for Hot Girl Spring and which we're currently in and Hot Girl Summer. So Balenciaga bag. Here we go, I'm gonna set her right over there. What I have is my Chanel Maxi Single Flap. I bought this one pre-loved. It's about to be almost three years, which is absolutely insane. Time goes by so fast. It is in the classic caviar color. I love that it's just a single flap. It fits everything and everything inside of it. Uh, I, I love this bag. Uh, right here I have um, a Coach Beat Bag dog tag on it. And I have it attached with the chain. I know it's kind of like ratchet, but that's how I'm able to carry it more as a top handle. I definitely have to buy like a little bit of a lock or something. So it kind of gives it more of this top handle moment. I love carrying it like that. I love the big pocket in the back. And this is a forever handbag in my collection. I've always wanted this handbag as a child. So I'm glad that I have this handbag in my collection. So this is my Chanel. Um, this one was pre-loved. And Chanel Maxi Single Flap, definitely for the win. And definitely a forever handbag in my collection. Um, the next one, which is my 20th birthday gift to myself that I got in, sep in September. Um, this one is the Chanel 19 Maxi. And this one is in the goat skin. So goat skin is currently discontinued for Chanel on the 19 bag. I believe all of them going forward are in lambskin. Glad that I have this one in the goat skin. I also hear that the interior change. I'm not too, too sure about it, but mine has the beautiful red interior on it. I hear now going forward, a lot of them are gonna have the black interior as far as just the classic black one. So I love that mine has the pop of red. I love big bags. I, I'm a big bag girl and I just love the 19. It's so effortlessly, it goes with everything. I definitely feel like when I start using this bag a lot more in the winter, I did say that I was gonna use this bag for spring and summer, but since see, it, it like it lose it it's very very malleable but for me I just love this bag but I won't be using it as much because I find more of a fall and winter bag in my opinion I will still use it but I just find that it it fits more for those occasions but I love it it's so beautiful I love the extra large little quilts on it I love Chanel so much as a brand and I cannot wait to add my next Chanel handbag into my collection the next Chanel handbag in my collection that I would love to add is just a beautiful mini handbag, um, mini flat bag in any fun color um, because I have been into the little gay color fantasy and you know I already have two Chanel black classic bags so I feel like getting a pop of color for Chanel would be really pretty for her right there. Um, next C that we have in my collection is going to be Coach. So I have the Coach mini pillow in the beautiful rouge color. I wore this one out for Mother's Day even though I was motherless. My parents went on vacation and they left me, but I still got to wear this little beautiful rouge color. Like, look how pretty it is. Look with the gold hardware. It is so pretty. I'm here for it. And then I have it in the vintage purple as well. And I feel ones come with a strap on the inside. But to be honest, I kind of prefer to carry them a little bit more at the little gay top handle fantasy moment. I definitely do prefer them. They literally look like food. Like, I literally want to eat them so much. So we have the little two gay twins here. And then we have the gay mama over here as well. <laughs> and then I have it with the Coach Beat Bag chain. So you can only get this chain if you have the beat handbag from coach and so i put the little beat bag chain on here this one is in the beautiful cream color i love the extra large little dog tag it's super squishy it's super nice you're probably tired of me talking about the coach pillow bag because i talk about it so much on my channel but you know it's a handbag collection so i do have to talk about it so uh, i have the beautiful cream one i'm gonna put you up there i have the beautiful purple one and the beautiful rouge one and the beautiful gay colors and see that my not my baby fallen not the coach pillow back falling. No, no, 
while you guys fell. I'm gonna put you back up right here. So I have the little two pillow bags here. Then for the other coach bags, I have the Coach Cassie in the classic chalk color. I love her so much. Um, this She is the reason why. She's a little bit dirty on the bottom, but not a whole lot. But I have used her quite a lot. She's the reason why I'm a lot comfortable with getting a little bit more lighter bags now. So she built my confidence to trust in white handbags. So I love her. Um, she is the mama. I have the little gay son here in the beautiful black color. And I, I love it. These are very classic handbags. And I love both of them. But like I said, if I'm choosing between which one, I definitely have been using the cream one a little bit more. So I have my little Cassie to I have my little Cassie name team which has the three straps on it i have my coach beat bag which i love it's in this beautiful smooth leather it has the iconic c on it i like that it just incorporates it but it's not like there's not like coach 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 it's just like it's incorporated right here uh, and the inside it has a beautiful lining and i just love everything about it let's look at that beautiful lining on it and it has three gusset compartments uh, which you'll notice in a lot of my bags I change my bags out very frequently so um, there's always like a bunch of like random stuff like sometimes I'll like I'll have like a lip balm or like a hand cream and I'm like I don't know where it's at but I know it's in one of my bags I'm like uh, I have to look through all my bags to see which one it's at so uh, sometimes I'd be surprising myself on the things that I have in my handbags but I also have my little my little coach beat bag right here and I really really like her a lot I do have quite a bit of videos on coach if you do want to check them out well I actually do have quite a, like, a lot of dedicated videos for a lot of the handbags that I have I have my coach uh, Tabby right here in this beautiful brown color and I love her so much. She is nice and she has a good story about it. I got her at the outlet for 60% off and I love her so much. No, I think I got her for 60 plus 20% off. So I love that it has a little bit of the grain and then you have a little bit more of that little smooth leather fantasy. And then in the back, it has a good generous pocket and you can fit your phone inside of there. Classic Coach Tabby in this beautiful brown color right over here. I have my one and only Givenchy handbag. This is my Givenchy Antigone uh, medium size. Oh my God, I kind of want to see if I have something in here. Some, oh my God, it's like really thunderstorming really bad here in Dallas. Like really, really bad. No, I actually don't have anything on here. This is my classic medium. This is a another forever handbag in my collection. I just love her so much. Same thing, I'm about to have a three year anniversary with this handbag. Um, I've used it quite a lot since I've gotten it. It's holding up really well. I will say mine is in this biker edition and this one out of all the leathers that they do, the sugar and then like kind of like that kind of shiny leather. Um, those two are a little bit more durable. This one is very soft leather. It is very easy to scratch, scratch it. Like I, I, I was petting him and he kind of jumped on me. And I don't know if you can see, I don't even think the camera can see, but it's like right here. And But other than that, that's the only really wear. I have used her, I have loved her. She is absolutely everything and she's a forever handbag in my collection. Um, I know some people don't like the G1 Chantagona, some people do, some people don't. Um, the Antigona is a classic in my collection and I love G1 Chi so much as a brand. And so I do have one handbag in my collection and that is the Antigona. And who knows, I may even add more G1 Chi handbags down the road. I have this handbag from JWPEI. Um, this one is in the beautiful scrunchie. I know a couple of people that actually have this exact same bag, so I kind of purchased it. I really like it. It's very fun. The leather is, I believe this is faux leather, but it's very, very nice and buttery soft. Um, like I said, the coach bag really restored my faith in white handbags. Well, not really restored because I never had white bags to begin with. So it made me more comfortable, like getting like the pillow bag and getting this bag, and then I have a little bit of a puzzle bag that I'm going to show you. So I, I like that I'm more comfortable wearing it. And so here I have my JW bag right here, and I like her. She's she's definitely like a little cute little mini bag moment. But um, this one's more of a daytime handbag for me. But here I have her in all her glory. Two long shot bags in my collection. I have this little baby small one, and this beautiful kind of gray color this one's actually kind of like my lunch bag that i use every time i have to go into work um or have to go in um i like to carry my lunch i've been living that little bit of that skinny legend fantasy so i love to definitely meal prep and i used to not eat like apples and bananas i used to eat like more kind of like sugar like chocolate bars and stuff like that which i still kind of do but this one definitely motivates me to have you know to have the whole shebang to have the whole look and so, oh my God, it's like really, <laughs> it's like pouring rain outside. And so I have my little long shot bag and I love her. And I love that she's very, very foldable. So I do have my little long shot bag that I use as a little lunch bag. I have this classic black one with the strap. I believe the newer versions of this one, because the one that I do have is the older version. The newer versions have the little thingy where you can kind of adjust the straps. I've had this for almost three years or if not three years. And it literally looks brand new. When I first got it, I definitely did use it a lot. I used it as a gym bag. I used it so much. Um, it really has not a lot of corner wear for the amount of wear that I've used it. It's actually, I mean, the nylon, you can tell that it's been worn and it's been well loved. 
But I mean, it's been holding up pretty well and I love her. And this little Longchamp bag is a forever handbag in my collection. I feel like you can never go wrong with the classic Longchamp. I have her stuffed right now. And so I do have this classic um, deep black and the super hardware. It goes with absolutely everything. And I, I just love her and she is really pretty. And now that I see her in the light right here, I feel like, dang, I should use you, I should use you a lot more because you're such a pretty bag. I know sometimes when you, it has to take for you to like film a video to really like take a look at something to really appreciate what you already have. But I'm like looking at it right now, I'm just like, dang, I need to use you a lot more, fiddle. I have this Longchamp and my mom's a big fan of Longchamp as well. And she has quite a bit of the nylon bags, but in my collection, I only have two. Um, as far as the next brand, which is going to be Loewe, I have three Loewe handbags. I have my beautiful puzzle bag here. Um, I love my little Panoa. I named my handbag. I normally never name my handbags, but I decided, you know what? Somebody on my live, I believe, said my this handbag needs a name on it. And so since they asked me, I'm like, you know what? What name would I put this? Because it's a very kind of like gender neutral color i'm like i should put just a little cute name and so on the live i literally put noah and i, I like the name noah so look at her and she's so beautiful this beautiful color i love the details i've always wanted a puzzle bag um, for like the last four years i just never went around to purchasing it or i knew that i would eventually buy it but i just never knew when and so i love noah in my collection um it's everything that i've ever wanted in a puzzle bag i honestly thought i would go for the larger size but now that i'm in my collection i do have like a lot of different sizes of handbags I definitely do think this is the perfect kind of handbag size. Um, I see something kind of moving around here. See, I told you in all my bags, just like always something. Here's my pro necklace and I was looking for it the other day. Um, but I love her so much. I love Noah. And I mean, I think the color is absolutely stunning because it, it has kind of like the aspects of a lighter handbag, kind of like my these two coach bags here, but it's also not a dark bag at all. And so it's kind of like a nice neutral pop of color. I would say, per, per se, I would say, I like the little leather details. I love the little back pocket right here. I like that this one has no feet because the larger one does have feet, but I find that with the feet, it can show a little bit more wear on it. But I do have my Loewe Bay puzzle bag, Noah, and I love my little Noah little moment. So I do have her a Loewe basket bag this one is in the smaller size this one is in the beautiful white color the i what i like about the Loewe basket bag is that you can actually adjust it you can make it a little bit longer i personally kind of prefer it a little bit more on the shorter hand i like the little moment that it gives it for whatever reason that the basket bag is a really nice bag i've always wanted to have a basket bag in my collection see i kind of don't like it a little bit longer i mean i guess if you want to carry it like that but i feel like me i'm like 511 i feel like i would literally murder this handbag like i would literally kill this handbag just by like me squeezing it in so i definitely have to do a little gay kind of like um like you know crook of my arm moment or have to carry it as a top handle yeah i don't really like them expanded i kind of prefer when the strap is a little bit more on the smaller shorter side and so i do have my little low of a basket bag i love it and i'm gonna keep this i'm gonna even though the basket bag basket bags in general to do tend to get a lot of wear i do want to use it and if it just happens to get wear over time um honestly i'm really okay with that um but the basket bag i love it and you know i mean i bought this in october and i told myself it's gonna be a very hot bag that i'm using for spring and summer which i have but i know in the summertime even more even during brunches even during you know sunday fun days uh, during the day at least because at night you know girl this is gonna get destroyed at night like this will literally get trashed and people can like literally pit pocket me because look how you're literally asking for somebody to take something from your bag because someone can literally grab something. But during the day, it's a pretty nice bag or depending where you go at night, if it's more of like of a distance setting, like as far as like a restaurant, I think it's pretty okay. But basket bag, I love it and I'm happy that I have it in my collection. Uh, like look at these, these them two right there, the little Balenciaga, the little Loewe, just scream spring and summer so much and I'm so excited for it to get a little bit more warmer, but not too, too warm. I have this little Loewe little bag here. I got this one pre-loved. One of my friends sold it to me for, how much did I pay for? I think this bag retailed for 1100 I think I paid two fifty for it with the dust bag and everything. I just love the material. I love it so much. I love the denim. I'm a big sucker for denim in general. I love that it has this little little wavy patch detail on here. He didn't really use it. I love. I just love everything about it. I love the fabric. I love como it gives me como mercado vibes. Like I can literally go to Mexico and go buy like apples, and I can go buy like porque like donde yo soy es como de verdad si es como el rancho like. Like literally, like a literally straight market. And so like I can literally go like, 
market where I can go and got up, me levanto y puedo ir a agarrar jugo de naranja y tenerlo en una bolsa de plástico con un popote versus it being in like a versus it being like in a plastic cup. Like that's how like rancho, like where I go to in Mexico, where uh, some of my family's from. And so I, I don't know for whatever reason I just thought, oh my god, this would be so cute to like go al mercado and buy like fresh meats, buy like fruits, buy like stuff. Like I could just feel the fantasy with like a beautiful linen white shirt that does not wrinkle. Those are so hard to find with some really pretty trousers and just like a whole set, a whole look. And I just always fantasized about that. And so I, I bought it and I have used it a couple times here in Dallas, but this is definitely more of a destination bag. Uh, but the basket bag I definitely have been using a lot more here in the city. But I love this little little wavy little bag here and I'm happy to have it in my collection. So I'm just gonna set uh, I'm gonna set little Miss Little Wavy thing right over there. And then we're gonna go on to the next brand, which is going to be Michael Kors and Marc Jacob. One thing I will say about my collection that I like is a mixture of contemporary and designer. Like, I love my pillow bag just as much as I love my Bottega Veneta red pouch. I love my puzzle bag just as much as I love um, one, one of these Michael Kors bags here. Like, I really do like the combination of brands that I have. Um, for me, I'm not particularly really stuck on a label. If I genuinely like something, Obviously for me, I'm always gonna prefer quality. That's one thing about me. I would much rather have one nice thing than to have 50 things that I kind of don't appreciate. Um, but for me, I will say, see, I don't know if you guys can hear that, the thunderstorm. I definitely do appreciate a nice combination in my collection and so much variety and even such curated. I think a lot of my friends told me, it's like, dang, Sergio, you're, like, you're so curated. And I think that goes about just me as a person. Like me, I like to do all different types of things. I like all different types of scenes. We can go to a whole no wall restaurant. I can go and wait, you know, 10 minutes to go get some street taco. Or, you know, I can go to a five star restaurant. I like all different types of social settings. I love the ratchetness. I love getting down and having a good time. I like going to highs and low places. Like I just love all these different variations. I like the type of group friends that I have, the different type of family members that I have, the type of people that I know, because it's like a nice mixture. You know, sometimes, you know, I do want to go and, you know, do something a little bit more casual. Sometimes I do want a little ratchet city girl moment. Sometimes I do want to be a little bougie girl. I just love it all. And I think that really reflects in who I am as a person and reflects the type of items that I wear, the type of person that I am. You know, I can be a little bit of a basic, but I do like a little bit of the variation. And, you know, I am coming out of my show a little bit more. So I think, like I said, I think that really reflects the collection that I have is I just love a little bit of everything. Like a girl loves options and who doesn't love options? Three Michael Kors handbags in my collection. I did a haul on two of the Michael Kors handbags. If you do want to see it, it's a couple of videos back. I have the Michael Kors Bradshaw. This is such like a pop of color. Like look at this beautiful lime green baguette. Like I'm definitely here for it. I definitely love all the details for it. I love the weaving. I love this little kind of like key little padlock moment. Like it literally is the shape of a keyhole, but obviously it doesn't come with the key or anything. You can just pop it back up, you open it up. It has a larger strap that you can carry as a cross in your shoulder bag. You open it up, it's lined in fabric. It has a little zipper right here. It has a back pocket. Um, I just love the pop of color of the Bradshaw. I just think it screams spring, it screams summer, it screams, like I said, linen shirt, and it just screams happiness. Like this color makes you wanna smile. And what I like about it is that it's not super, super neon -y. It definitely looks a little bit more neon -y in the camera but it's definitely a little bit more muted and it's like more of a nice wearable lime green color and i also appreciate how this one has the sober hardware on it as well and it has these little two little um d rings right here so i can really um make whatever i want the bag out of i can really make the bag what i want it to be especially since i do have the other strap um, but you'll probably see me do a Michael Kors video, another one, very, very soon now that I've actually had a couple days and I've had, you know, wear on it. And now I can have, you know, now when I look at the bag, I'm like, okay, I noticed this, I noticed that. And I kind of have more of a generalization versus the other one with more of an unboxing kind of reaction. This one's definitely going to be, my next Michael Kors video is definitely going to be more of a, of a PK. And so I definitely do um, enjoy the Bradshaw. And now that I've had a couple of days with it, like over a week with it, um, my first impressions with it, I do really, really like it. And I uh, just love the pop of color. I mean, who does not love a pop of color? Because I definitely do now. Um, even navy, this is a navy polo. Even navy is a pop of color for me. Um, I have a Michael Kors Soho in this beautiful navy color. It has the beautiful studs on it. I just love this kind of like monochromatic look. I know I probably said that wrong. Um, it, has a little, it has this little clasp right here. You open it up. I just love the compartment. You have a main compartment here. You have two side pockets. It's just a nice wearable bag. I do have a review on the Michael Kors Soho that I did for this brown one, which will show you my next one. So I do have two of them. 
I have the brown one. I have the navy one. Uh, I just love the Soho bag so much. Like, I just think the colors on this one, like, look at the color. The color on this one with the gold hardware, like, look at that. It's that absolutely preciosa. Imagine if Michael Kors did, like, this hardware, like, a little bit of extra large, like, in chains. Imagine if they did that. Michael Kors, if you're watching this, get into this gig. Like, make some chains that are nice and chunky that we can use on our other Michael Kors handbags. And promise you, people would buy them left and right. Um, that goes for every brand. I feel like some brands should be, if they would make a lot of money if they actually made, like, fun, like, straps. Like, fun chain straps. Like, um, Coach get into it. Marc Jacobs get into it. Tory Burch get into it. Michael Kors get into it. Pauline get into it. Saint Laurent get into it. Like, start making fun chains that maybe aren't, like, the Dior straps where they just say Dior on them. Or, or they say, like, Marc Jacobs on them. Make actually fun chains that maybe you can versatile them with other brands of bags. You guys will be making so much coin. Rebecca Minkoff, are you listening? Get into it. And so I just love the color. I love gold hardware with it. It is so pretty. It just pops out with you. It just has such a nice and fun. Like, look at it. It just has, like, a nice sheen on the camera. And I also find that in the navy one, it also captures, it captures the navy one really, really well. And I just love my little gay little Soho bags. I love them so much. I don't think they're, like, a mother and daughter dynamic or a father and son. Sometimes when I get kind of, like, the same bags, I kind of like to give them kind of, like, a duo name. I think these ones are like best friends. Like this is a good best friend duo. This one's, I mean, they're both classic bags, the classic flat bags, but this one has a little bit more of a twist with the studs. Maybe this one likes to have tattoos and this one doesn't, and they like to do a little bit different things, but since they are very similar, they're best friends. So I definitely do have a little two Soho moment, navy color, and then I have it in the beautiful brown color as well. I believe Michael Kors is still doing 25% off, and that's the video that I'm actually gonna be doing top recommendation but i believe all those three are part of the 25 percent off deal so i'll leave them linked down below well all the bags will be linked down below but obviously i try to look to, through them if they're on sale but i believe they're still 25 percent off i have one mark jacobs bag the tote bag and this one right here i love it so much like i, I i've liked it ever since i bought it it's my one of my favorite bags under 200 dollars i feel like i have to make an updated my favorite bags under 200 dollars this one has the strap, which actually, I don't even know where it's at. I literally took like 15 minutes to find it the other day because I kind of wanted to work with the strap, but honestly, I don't even know where it's at. But it's fine, it's fine. I love it like a little cute top handle moment. Mine is in this beautiful green color, but what I like about this green color is that it actually goes with a lot of things. You can really dress it up and you can dress it down. You can really make it what you want it to be. It's jam-packed and I still really, really enjoy my little Marc Jacobs little the toe bag. I have the peas in my life. So for peas, I have Pollen and Prada. So... I have one and only Prada bag. This is my Prada nylon reissue. Um, I, as you can see, they're bag that has been through the gigs. Like, when I tell you, it's been through the gigs. Like, it doesn't have, like, little mysterious stains on it. Mysterious spots. I don't even know what this is. I don't even know what spots are these. I don't know what this is. Um, girl, it's, it's been through it. I love the little chain on it. Um, the strap that I have on it is still on the inside. Sometimes I like carrying it kind of like this or kind of like on the crook of my arm. Or sometimes I actually do like using it as a crossbody slash shoulder bag. It really depends the mood the vibe but recently i will say i have been using it more as like a little bit of a kind of like cook in my arm type style of baguette and i just love it so much i've had this one for like a year and probably five months and i love it and this is another forever handbag in my collection um there's a few forever handbags in my collection but this is definitely one of them and i so people always ask me is it said here is it still worth the money should i still buy it i'm still kind of going back and forth um, I still think it's 100% worth the money to get this Prada uh, nylon handbag. Uh, this is something you forever have in your collection. Prada never really goes out of style. I mean, I know they may have their moments up and down, but to be honest, Prada in general never really goes out of style. So um, I say get into it and go for the Prada bag if you have your heart and if it's a handbag that uh, you like and that you want to get. I have three pull-in handbags in my collection. I'll put my newest one, which is this one right here. And this is probably the one that I've been using a little bit more. I just love how this one is still kind of like a small bag, but I just love the base on it. Like, look at this detail right here with the stitching. I just love that it has a base. So everything that I have in here, um, it, it's perfectly. So um, little pouch here with the privilege face mask. Like I told you, like, I use my bags all over the place. Oh, I was looking for this. I was looking for this little charger. I have like a dollar bill in here. Um, I just love getting it base. So I could put like my little Prada makeup bag in here. I can put like, let's say sometimes I do carry a little deodorant. You know, you never know. I, I have a bad feeling like if I ever stole back. So I always kind of carry like a full size perfume or stuff with me. A little body lotion. And what I like about this bag is since it has a very nice base to it, it doesn't sag at all. Like as you can see, it does not sag. And I can put a lot more stuff. And I like how I want it. I can see everything where it's at. Like I can lay it down. I can see where everything is at. 
It has a strap where you can use it as a crossbody and a shoulder bag, which um, is very, very handy. I actually do like to keep the strap on this one. I definitely do like to carry kind of like a top handle moment, but I definitely do like to have the strap on it as well. Um, I love it so much and it's one of my favorite bags in my collection and it has a very personal note I'll, uh, with a lot of my bags. So for example, the Marc Jacobs bag that's up there. Um, I had went shopping with my friend Haley Hall and she gave that, she put, she put in the envelope some Chinese New Year money and it's in that bag. I think in one of the bags I'm gonna show you later, um, it has another meaningful thing on it. So it's on there. So time, you know, I get something or get something gifted. Um, I always kind of put a note on it. So this one uh, was gifted by the Poland team and and you know, it has a note on it and it's something that I always appreciate and it's something that when I use the bag again, I get to look forward to with having or like a lot of the bags have like memories with them. Um, so I have this other pulling bag here and like I said, this one does have a note on it as well. And like I said, it just puts a bright smile on it. Like, you know, if I'm having a bad day or if I'm switching my bags and you know, I'm busy, I'm on the go, I have meetings, I'm in phone calls or whatever I'm doing or I'm visiting family or I'm on a flight or whatever it is. Like it just puts such a bright smile on my face just to read, read stuff like this. Like I don't know what it is i'm a very emotional person in general i may not show it all the time but i just am and you know stuff like this makes me so so happy i love the numeral so un nano and this is a numeral step and so i just i just love it and this color is really pretty i like how this one has a little bit of the d-ring fantasy so you can definitely put your keys you can definitely touch something so you know it won't go missing like look at the quality like if you guys felt this little interior right here it feels so nice to the touch i like the little pocket here i will say i will be using this bag a little bit more during spring and summer because i do like the way this pairs out with a black blazer and some um blue shorts i think it's very nice it looks very professional but i also like that the strap makes it very kind of casual and kind of brings it down a little bit and you can also take off this handle as well if you wanted to which i wouldn't i'll would just kind of carry it like that but i definitely do like the strap because the strap definitely brings it more on the casual side and I just love the hardware, the quality of the pull-in handbox are impeccable and I, I love them and I will always have a big heart in pull-in because pull-in was the first one of the, you know, I will say I do have brands reaching out every day, but it's the one that I finally was said yes to and I was finally happy and I, I love them so much. And then in this pull-in bag here, let's see what I have. Somebody, see, somebody gave me a Starbucks gift card. It still has um, the money in here actually. Like I haven't even, um, scratched it out it still has a little scratch in here um i got a starbucks gift card and i haven't even used it i don't even know how much is in it i have it in there i have a little um fortune cookie little thing in there i have a little hand sanitizer in here like i just love it and it makes me happy to look forward to using the bag and remember you know life has been going so fast for me so i get to remember what i did before um for us you know what i did last time before i when i'm gonna go back and use the handbag so um i love it and that's just something that i do have for a lot of my handbags i don't really clean i bet you if i clean all the bags now i would find like a bunch of stuff that i've been like kind of like looking for but i look forward to um seeing what's inside the bag sometimes you know life goes by fast like i have my tiffany rings and i don't even know where they're at i know they're in some bag but i know i put them in there and i have not seen them in a month but it's okay it's all good um but i do have this beautiful pulling handbag and i love pulling so much so um, yeah, I will always have a big heart for them. The quality and everything about Pull-In is 100% impeccable and I, I just I just love it so much. Handbag brand, which is Saint Laurent. And like I said, back to the theme of showing you like, so this is the big dust bag. I got this one pre-loved. My friend sold it to me for 550. I love it. I kind of never want to sell it. I was literally um, looking for some of this stuff. I went to a pool party on Saturday. And so I have an outfit that I thought I was not aware when I went out, but I ended up going home. See, look, my ceiling glasses are just like thrown in here. Um, I need to put them in the case and, you know, just, you know, I mean, I'm always living in the moment. It's already the weekday. So, you know, I have a Tom Ford fragrance in here. I have some sunscreen in here. Thing will chunk. I have um, underwear in here. I have socks in here. So, you know, love the memories and everything that create. I have a receipt for Kroger, like I have a gum wrapper, like I don't know, I'm just very, very weird about that. But I also clean my bags and I also take care of them, but you know, it just puts a smile just to, you know, just to see what I did last and what memories I created. But you know, now I just, I just now got to empty my handbag, but I have the Saint Laurent tote. People always ask me if it's worth the money. It's actually probably my favorite designer tote that's kind of like in this fabric material that's out in the market. I know I get asked about the Dior book tote, I get asked about the Chloe Woody bag, um, or this one, or the Slim ones. This is probably my favorite one just because I like the price point, I like the usability of it, and I think it absolutely goes with everything, and I, I love it. And it's really dark, it's literally, guys, it's, I literally think it's one, 
and this literally looks like it's about 7 p.m. outside. Um, at the end of the video, I'm going to show you what it looks like outside. But as you can see, I love it. I have not had no wear. I traveled with it, and it's been to me to LA. It's been to me to Chicago. I think it's been to Mexico with me already. Not really sure. It went with me when I went to Corpus Christi and Houston. No, I, I didn't take it to me with Houston, but I did take it to Corpus Christi. And it holds up really well, and I've used it in the city, and absolutely nothing's wrong with it. So if you are worried about it, I mean, nothing's really happened, you know. It, it goes through the gigs, but nothing has really been wrong with it. So I really like it, and if you're considering it, I think it's a really great purchase. Um, I have my St. Laurent cake bag. This one, oh my god. Through the gigs, through the ringers, like, girly, like, you... I, I literally have... I can literally make an hour story time of me with the stories that I've had with this bag. I've tr this bag has gone has been attempted to get stolen on me. I remember when I had it, somebody tried to snatch it off of me and run run for it. I this has been hit the ground. This has been through like 15 friends that I let them borrow this bag. Like this bag has definitely been through it. Like I can literally throw this on the floor and it will be indestructible. I can throw it out my balcony. It will be all fine. I'm not gonna do that. But this bag, the cape bag, this grainy leather, anything from St. Laurent with this grainy leather is one ship percent durable. I think the three year anniversary is already here or if it's gonna be within the next couple weeks this for three years and i love it so much i love the hardware i love everything about it and the cape bag is surgery secret approved i love it so much black silver hardware perfect night bag perfect date bag crossbody shoulder anything you want it to be st laurent bag 100 worth of money and uh, and this is another i can't believe i ever thought about selling this bag because i did think about it no baby this is another forever handbag in my collection i love it and just the amount of memories the amount of gigs that i went through all these uh sleepless nights so you know traveling you know um I, like I said, have stories for days. It's been with me and it's been stuck through and it's my ride or die. So, um, St. Laurent cape bag, definitely for the win and definitely a Sergio Secret bag. I have a St. Laurent camera bag. Me and my best friend, Haley Hall, we actually have matching handbags. She actually has a YouTube channel. And if you want to check her out, she has some fun videos. I'll leave her link down below. Me and I bought this one and I bought it in December and she's always wanted me to source her a nice St. Laurent camera bag for a really great price. I got mine for $5.75 at last call. And then we went to the last the last last call event and I was able, I was the first one there. She was in the next group. I got this for her. And like I said, sourced by Sergio's Secret. I was able to source my best friend the exact same bag for $5.75. And you know, now we have matching bags and that puts such a bright smile. Haley Hall is one of my closest, most dearest friends. I love her so freaking much. And so, you know, I'm so happy that we have matching bags. So now I will never sell it. And my other best friend, Kimberly, she has this one in the black. So we actually all have three of the exact same bags. Um, you know, me and Haley just happen to have the same color. And then Kimberly has the black one. But I love it so much. And I always get asked if it's worth the money. It is. And um, I love it. And my, I've been using it a little bit more than when I first bought it. But oh, I love it. And also, if the bag is not in my collection, um, it, it means I sold it. I gave it to my mom or I gave it to my friend. Um, either three or I give it to a subscriber. Sometimes a subscriber, I've gotten emails where they're like, Sergio, I really want that bag. I really want it. And sometimes, um, you know, sometimes I'll be like, you know what, I'm in a good mood. I'll be like, you know what, okay, you know, I'll sell it to you. So bags are on loan right now. And I gave it to my mom. I gave it to my friends. I sold it, you know, I sold it off or I sold it to one of my subscribers. Um, I no longer have it in my collection, but like I said, my collection fluctuates so much. and. Like I said, the last video that I did was five months ago, but it just changes so much that I like to do once every couple months so you see what left and what I have and what I did, did or didn't have in my collection. But everything that I have currently in my collection is what's in my possession and nothing is in loan out, I believe. Yeah, nothing is. I always get asked, what is my favorite handbag in my collection? You know, sir, do you've had hundreds of handbags throughout the years? What is your one favorite handbag? And I haven't talked about this. I will make a full video on it. Um, or I'll probably mention it in the live stream, but this is my favorite handbag in my collection and it is a handbag from Tory Burch. A lot of you guys know I've loved Tory Burch for so many years. I've worn Tory Burch since high school. I remember my mom buying her first Tory Burch handbag. Like, I have just always loved Tory Burch, guys. And like I said, um, I, I have so many bags. I have, you know, Chanel bags. I have coach bags. I have everything. But if there's one handbag, guys, that I love and that i would not like if a fire broke out and if i have to choose one bag this would be the bag that i would choose and the bag that i'm choosing is my toy birch eleanor and you're saying sergio why are you going to choose your toy birch eleanor like i want to hear your reasoning i want to hear why so this is the toy birch eleanor it is beautiful smooth leather it has the beautiful iconic tt you guys know i've talked about this like, i just love the snap 
I just love that it makes a statement. But you know what makes this so special? This is a one of a kind handbag. It is a one of a kind. Like I'm probably gonna get emotional. I'm gonna start crying. I told myself if I'm gonna cry, it's gonna be on that Toy video. But this is the most specialist handbag that I have in my collection. And the reason is it's because it's actually signed by Toy Birch herself. Oh my god. I met Toy Tori a couple days ago and she actually signed the handbag. And she was like, oh, are you sure? Like, I'll just talk about it in the other video. That, you know, that she's one of the most sweetest and kindest persons that I've ever met. And I got so excited and I didn't let the marker dry. So it got a little smudged. And I tried about cleaning it off, but I feel like it gives it more personality. And so, yes, guys, this is my favorite handbag in my collection. It is signed by Tori Birch herself. And without further ado, let me show you the signature. So, it says, like I said, it got smudged out. And I, you know, I told my friends, you know, I don't, a lot of times you should clean it or whatever. I love the personality. I find that it gives it, you know, I was so excited in the moment that it kind of rubbed off on the sweater that I was wearing. And it just creates such a more of authentic versus trying to clean it up. You know, nothing in life is perfect. And, you know, like when I, she told me, she's like, are you sure you want me to sign your handbag? I said, I would love for you to sign my handbag. And so it says right here, with love, Sergio XOXO Toy Birch. And it's like, it's the same signature that she uses, you know, when you order something from Toy Birch, that little Toy Birch signature. Like, she signed my Toy Birch handbag. And um, you guys know, Toy Birch is the most I, number of handbags that I have in my collection. And so she signed my handbag. So... It, it, therefore, it ha it's my, it's my favorite handbag in my collection, and uh, I just love it. And this will never, I will never sell this in my handbag collection. This is the one of the few handbags that I could say, like I said, if something broke out and I have to get something, this is the handbag that I would grab, the Toy Birch Eleanor. Like, like Toy Birch signed my handbag. Like, you don't understand. Like, you know, yes, you know, Chanel can't sign my handbag because she's deceased. You know, a, you know. Givenchy can't sign my handbag, but a living designer that can sign my handbag signed it and It's not it's not like everybody can walk around and say, you know I can walk around like this and you know, this is not permanent So it's not gonna come off at all But like there's nothing like walking around and just walking around and it's it literally says uh, You know, it literally has your signature has my name on it um, And I love it and it means the world to me So um, the Toy Birch Eleanor is my favorite handbag and like I said, I'll do a little story time about it, but yeah Toy Birch signed my bag, and if you know this, if, and it took a team to make this happen, but it happened, and <sighs> means the absolute world to me. So, Toy Birch Eleanor signed by Toy Birch herself, and actually, we're gonna set her. Um, we're gonna put her right here. I want her to be right in the center because uh, I love her so much. And so, that being said, I'm gonna show you my other Toy Birch handbags. I have my Toy Birch Walker. It has the little gay feet at the bottom. I love this little boss baby business. This comes in a larger size, but I like how the small one kind of gives it more kind of like boss baby, um, kind of more youthfulness to it. I love it. It has a strap on the inside. I like the D-rings. I love the feet at the bottom. I love the little cliche. I love the little Toy Birch little emblem on here. Um, I really like the Toy Birch Walker satchel. I think it's a really great handbag. And I know uh, some of my friends were asking me to get what our handbags to get for Mother's Day, which already passed, and it recommended this bag. And so she ended up buying it for her mom, and she, her mom she came back and told me that her mom is in love with this bag. Toy Birch Walker does wonders. It's a really great handbag, and um, I've been a big I've been a big fan of it since I purchased it. I have a Toy Birch Kira bag. This one's in the camera bag, and this one is in this beautiful blue color. This is a current season color, so you can still get your hands on it. Uh, I love it. I love the hardware. I like how this one has a little bit more of the muted hardware versus the shiny hardware. It has a nice zipper on it. It has a pocket in the... It's just, I like that it's lined. I think this screen is very spring and summer. Um, something that I'm trying to get out of. Now you can see a little pop of colors. If you go back and you check some of my older collection videos, you don't really see... I know I don't have as much color in general, but you don't really see a lot of color at all. So I'm kind of glad that I'm starting to go out with a little bit more neutral pops of colors. And who knows, I may go full force into color. But um, Toy Birch little Kira camera bag, love it. And look at this color. I think this color goes really well with my skin tone. I think navy in general has been a color that I've been reaching for, or blues. Because uh, I always forget how really good it looks a lot more softer than black on my skin tone. Like, I, I just think it, it looks phenomenally well. So, I have this one right here. And like I said, look at all these little bags. Oh, they look so fun. 
Oh my god, look at them. They look so cute. I have my classic Ella Toe. This is one of my favorite bags. If you've been following me since the beginning, you know I've been through the gigs with this bag. I love it. It's a core classic handbag. You can never go wrong with it. As you can see, it's still going through it. Um, but it literally looks brand new. There's literally no wear and tear on the corners. I mean, it has a little bit stains on the nylon because, you know, girl, I've been going through it. But it looks phenomenally well and I'm here for it. So, Toy Birch Ella Tote, recommend it. And then I have my Toy Birch Ella Tote 2.0, which is the Ella Quadrant Tote. And I always wanted to get this tote. It went part of the spring sale for 30% off. And so I ended up buying it. Look at it, it is so pretty. I love the fabric detail. I love the brown. Um, I got actually have the matching Miller sandals in this color. I looked at this pocket, you can put fun stuff in here. I'd probably put like maybe my ID or like a quick credit card. I like how on the inside it has a little bit of a snap. This one, I do have it stuffed up right now. Um, I'm going to take a nice vacation very, very soon. So this is the bag that I'm actually going to take with me. I'm so excited. Uh, one thing I do like about the Ella Tote is that it actually makes a really great bag to have on the cook of your arm. And it's actually very comfortable regardless if you have it snapped on the side or not. It's just a nice, comfortable handbag. This screen's, like I said, spring and summer. Something that I'm very, very looking forward to, even though we are in spring. And it's literally pouring rain. Like, literally, it's a lot lighter now. But... You heard the little thunderstorms, girl. We be going through it here in Texas. Little, we get four seasons every single day aqui in Dallas, Texas, baby. But the Ella Quadrant Tote and the larger size, it does come in a smaller size, but I have this one and soon, I believe it's 428 and I think the smaller one is 398 But I'm living for the Ella Quadrant Tote. Here she is in all her little glory. Um, definitely a really great summer tote under $500. Classic Perry Tote. This is just a classic black tote that you can never go wrong with. I believe that they redid it now where the clichettes are different colors now. Um, I kind of still kind of like the black with the red. I think it's a nice contrast. It has brown on the inside. And it's just a like classic black tote that you can never go wrong with. So um, that's why I still have it in my collection. You can never go wrong with black classic totes. And here is my Tory Burch Perry Tote in all her glory. I had to do alphabetical order, but I forgot on the side, I put my Dagny Dover bag. So we're gonna pretend it's alphabetical order and we're gonna put the Dagny Dovers at the end. It's a little pretty little, this is a little mini one. It came out last year. It's a little dirty. I definitely need a little magic eraser moment to clean it. Um, I just love it. I think it is so cute. I didn't really use it fall or winter, but in spring, I told myself in the spring and the summer, I'm definitely going to be using this one. Um, I just think it's the cutest thing ever. Like, look at that. If it's your credit card, if it's my little AirPods in here, so that's pretty much all I need. But I have this little pretty um, bag, and I am getting the White Cloud Millers in them in this one, so it'll be like a little bit of a nice matching set to have. Just how I have the brown Millers with the brown Ella tote. It's a nice kind of, kind of combination, so I like how they kind of correspond each other i have this mcgraw um little mini hobo what i like about this one is that you can give it two different looks you can carry it like this i will be honest i've never used it with a crossbody the crossbody still has the plastic on it believe it or not but i actually like carrying it as this one as well i just love that in this little mini mcgraw you can definitely give it different vibes on the bag and so see here's the strap on it it still has a plastic on it because i haven't used it with the strap but i have used it just carrying it like this I just love the vibes. I like that you can kind of make it more protective, a little bit more cuter. We can give it a little bit more of an open side. I like the top handle. I thought about buying like a fun chain to put on it just to kind of give it an extra kind of... Mm. They do have this one in a larger version, and I believe that one is 428 I think this one's 328 So it's about $100 more, but it's like a lot larger. But that one doesn't have the strap on it. It's just a larger bag. And so I love it. I love the aspects of giving it kind of like two different looks with a little clasp on the inside. You have the little clasps. You have a little snap closure, and then there's a pocket on each side, which I really like. And this is also going to be kind of like a fun summer bag to have in my collection. And I did use this one a little bit during the winter season. Silky bag. I think this one is still part of the Eleanor collection. This one is sold out. This one's from many seasons ago, but it just kind of gives me kind of like the row vibes. I like this little satin bow detail. I like that you can just carry it at night, and it just has no branding. It has kind of like this little leather detail on it. It is super cute. It is super nice. It's definitely kind of one of the more kind of different toy birch bags that I have in my collection. But without further ado, I mean, I really, really like it. And so I have my little toy birch little satin bag. And like I said, this one is very easy to travel with. I like it. And I bought this one in LA when I was there in September. Um, as far as other bags for the T, I know I could have put this one in the R, but it's the row. And this is the row moon shaped bag in this beautiful brown color. And like I said, um, I have, I have like, I have things on it. So somebody gave me a Nordstrom gift card and it has, um, I guess, like Chinese New Year money on it. 
I have this little thing that I got that Fashion File gave me and it says, you know, I'm a rubber sleeve card. I haven't used it. I'm usually don't, I don't know, I'm kind of weird about that. And so it says, it's just like a nice letter from Fashion File that they sent me. I got it. It was, it just happened. I was just happy to carry the back in the row. And so I love the little bit of the memories. I have like a lot of receipts in here. And so I love this little row moon shaped bag. I think it is so cute. It is so adorable. Definitely a little bit different than I have in my collection, but I definitely do like to carry it. And every time I do carry it, I get a lot of compliments on it. Like I get so many compliments on it. And this one also has a fun story. This one came all the way from the Nordstrom store in New York City and I got it for 60% off in this classic color. So I love it and I love the row. It's one of my favorite brands. So I'm glad to say that I have one of their handbags in my beautiful collection. Um, so I have it right here. I have a Telfar toe and this one is in the medium size. There's a smaller size and a larger size. I love this one. I like the color. The color at first I, well, I was like, did I make a mistake on the color? I actually really like the color. The color goes with quite a lot. I definitely do like to carry a little bit more of the top handle, but I will I will say I, I do like more of the convenience of the strap. Now I, at the beginning I wasn't a big fan of the longer straps, but now since I do tend to carry a little bit more, I like the convenience that I can just kind of slap it on the side and kind of keep it moving. But I do have my toe for a sharper tote and I love the color and I do see myself maybe adding a baby one and my friend Paulette actually has a baby brown one and it's so cute on her it's kind of like the chocolate brown color so that is a toe far so it's all for the alphabetical order now let's go back and kind of show you the Dagny Dover bags I can't believe I said I was very persistent on making this video alphabetical order but I forgot the Dagny Dover ones which is okay but in the description box I'll just go back as regular alphabetical order I have Dagny Dover bags I love Dagny Dover so much um, it all started with the Dakota backpack. Mine's in the older version. The newer version has a pocket in the back. I have a full review on Dagny Door if you want to see it. So I have the medium Dakota backpack. This one is the one, this is probably one of the most used handbags in my collection just because it's been through the gigs. So many things has happened through it. Actually, no, I will say out of all the bags that I have in my collection, I will say this one's the most used one. Like it may not be photographed as much. You may not see me use it actually like on social media. But this one is the one that I use the most. Out of all the bags that I have, you know, how many times I said this is the most used bag? I don't think I use that word very loosely. I think I've only said that maybe about one other bag. But this is the most used handbag in my collection. I love it so much. I got this one maybe like two and a half years ago. I met um, some of the Dagny Dover girls and they're some of the sweetest persons ever. So I also got the little mini baby one right here. I got this one during covid lockdown last year i think they did like 25 percent off for 30 so i did get a little bit of a discount on this one and i love the mini one this one's a really well actually i did use it to run errands the other day i went to like Nordstrom rack i went to my dry cleaners to get a haircut it's a really cute bag but i really like using this one kind of like as a hiking bag or like like if i have to run like katie trail here in dallas like if i have to run like trails or something or outdoor activities uh, where i want to carry like my water bottle maybe some sunscreen um, this one's a really good one but i have used it out for like out and about using use, doing errands and stuff Super cute little mini backpack and I actually really like it and um, these are the only backpacks that I have in my collection and I really like them. And then I have carry alls. Now in the Nordstrom Mac video, I thought they were two different sizes. They're actually the exact same one, but I'm actually going to keep both of them. I'm going to use them for different purposes. So this one's going to be the one that I kind of keep in my car like as a catch hole. I find that sometimes, you know, it's good to have like an extra pair of jeans, good a pair, extra pair of like socks, like... Uh, maybe like a fragrance like it's just good to have like just kind of extra things and so i'm going to use this one in my car just to have kind of like a catch-all like jeans and maybe like a pair of shoes chunk glass maybe like a, a swim swimsuit in case if i need an extra face mask so i'm gonna use this one more as a kind of catch-all in my car in the trunk and then this one's gonna be like more of like my gym bag i don't really go to the gym anymore um, I used to go to LA Fitness a lot, but I don't go there anymore. Um, but this one, I can use it more as an actual like gym bag. Like I have jump rope in here. I have I have basically everything you could ever want. I still, oh I have a Prada dust bag in here. Um, I really don't go to the gym as often. Like going to a gym, I go to the gym in my apartment complex. But I have like a spray in here. I have wipes in here to sanitize anything. But um, I will say I haven't used this one as much. But since I, I do see myself enrolling back in a gym pretty soon and so this one is going to get a lot more wear but i also have used this one as a kind of like spend the night bag as well but i think the other one's going to be used for that purpose and this one's going to be more used as a gym bag once i kind of want to go back to the gym like i just what i like about going here is just like it's a lot more personable versus like over there's like you know it's always busy like there's always like a lot of people and sometimes like i don't know i feel like i'm very vulnerable when working out so I definitely do prefer to kind of have my own space but like if i'm like running a chore or stuff like that that's fine 
And then the last bag that I have, which is a smaller one, but it's an impactful one. It is my Dagny Dover mini fanny pack. I bought this one like a year and a half ago. Love it. I use it very, very frequently. When I got it, I did use it quite a lot. But this is another bag. Maybe if I don't, this is a bag that I do use like to take to the gym here. My apartment complex It's good because I can fit my, like, my cards. I can fit like a little towel, maybe like a little bit of sheets. And if it's everything in here and I have used it for running shows and stuff or if I'm just going to run a couple errands and I don't really want to bring a bag if I want to be hands-free, this little Dougie Dover one is super cute. It has a little card compartment to put credit cards in here. I personally wouldn't put it in there. I definitely do prefer the zipper of it to have it here. Um, but I love it. And like I said, all my Dougie Dover stuff has folded up really well. And I love it. So I have nothing but really love for Dagny Dover as a brand. And I love everything that I have from Dagny Dover. And there hasn't been a Dagny Dover item that I haven't liked. I also have a laptop case too, but that's more like of an accessory. But yeah, guys. Oh my god, I can't believe we went through that. I think we went through it pretty, pretty, pretty well. But yeah, this is my entire handbag collection. Um, I worked 